is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot remain in the cradle forever. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, 1857-1935, was a teacher of mathematics and physics, and his work pioneered the field of rocketry. Today, he is considered a visionary of space travel, but for a long time, little attention was paid to his work in the Russian Tsardom. Together with Goddard and Oberth, he is one of the fathers of rocketry. He built Russia's first wind tunnel in his apartment and developed the theoretical basis for many things that were not realized until decades later. Not only did he come up with the idea of a space tower, but he was already working on airlocks, spacesuits, outboard missions, closed ecosystems, and the production of food and oxygen in space. Unfortunately, Tsiolkovsky contracted scarlet fever at the age of 10 and almost completely lost his hearing as a result. In addition, he had to cope with the loss of his mother at a young age and also had to leave school at 14. Nevertheless, inspired by the works of Jules Verne, this did not prevent him from dreaming of space travel. From then on, he educated himself, driven by an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. His family recognized his talent and sent him to Moscow to attend college. He was attending lectures with the aid of an ear trumpet and was accomplished in both science and mathematics. Later, he became a teacher at Kaluga, Russia, and in 1896, he published an article on communication with inhabitants of other planets. Throughout his life, he had to struggle with severe setbacks. In 1902, his son committed suicide, and in 1908, the river Oka burst its bank, flooding his house and destroying many of his scientific works. His most acclaimed work was published in May 1903 under the title Exploration of Cosmic Space by Means of Reaction Devices. In it, Tsiolkovsky not only described the basic rocket equation, but also described a liquid rocket that would use liquid hydrogen and oxygen as propellants. He realized that the fuel and oxidizer should be kept in different containers and should only be combined in the combustion chamber. In the turmoil of the transition from the Russian Empire to the Soviet Union, he was arrested in November 1919 by the Chika, the first of a succession of Soviet secret police organizations, for two weeks and sent to Moscow. In 1929, he wrote another paper that showed how the multi-stage rocket system was the most effective way to enter outer space. In other writings, he proposed jet propulsion for travel in the vacuum of space. He was already writing about the use of gyroscopes for attitude stabilization and how centrifuges could be used to study the effects of gravity on living organisms. In total, Tsiolkovsky published over 400 works, of which 90 dealt with space travel alone. Tsiolkovsky also corresponded several times with Hermann Oberth, held the view that humanity would survive only if it became a space civilization, and wrote several science fiction works on interplanetary travel as well as colonization of the solar system and beyond. Further, he had greatly influenced Werner von Braun, as Soviet search teams at Pienemünde found a German translation of a book by Tsiolkovsky in which almost every page was embellished by von Braun's comments and notes. Today, a far-side moon crater is named in his honor and, in 1989, he was inducted into the International Aerospace Hall of Fame. Thank you for your attention.